Okay, lastly, we're gonna look at the stereo. So besides the stereo controls you've got on your steering wheel here, you've also got well, never volume mind. on the outside, a quick push for mute it, a long hold will switch the unit off and give you your clock behind it. Again, a long hold will switch it on. So you've got different radio things on here. So we've got DAB radio, which is signified just by the little radio to pick stations you press this little button in the top corner there and then you've got all of the stations available on DAB if you wanted to listen to hits radio for example you select hits radio there's an empty selection over here you just press and hold hits radio is on so we'll go through those in a second to change from DAB if you run out of signal we're now in FM1 so that means we've got 12 preset of FM1s and then we've got FM2 another 12 presets and then AM as well so that's that's all on there and that would come on if you press your radio button mode button below that gives you a little sub menu so you've got radio media you won't be plugging in as I suspect and then the other one that you'll use is Android Auto um, that's when you put in an app on your phone which we've discussed earlier um, I'll try and switch my phone on for you so we use this little app here, the Android Auto app. Um, so when your phone's connected using a data cable, as you can see here, you press Android Auto on the screen. There will be a little setup. And that's when Google Maps, which is already in your phone, will come up onto the system and you just use it the same as normal. So you, you would put in a postcode um, there are different ones on here that are already preset in my phone and it will just show you exactly the same as a normal TomTom -tom and give you the directions on how to go there and instructions along the way. When you get there, you just press the little X to cancel it off. What you will get is a copy of what's on your phone really. So your front screen of your phone, so you've got the Google Maps, the Google Music, Castbox, which is an app that I've put on there. Um, if somebody messages you, it will come through on the screen here. Um, it will read the message out to you. You just tap the message on the screen, it will read out, and then you can respond to it by voice control. You literally just speak to the unit and it will do what you, you need it to do. Likewise, if you wanted to call someone or send a text message, you would just press this button instruct it clearly so text message the person you need to text message the machine will say fine okay what do you wish to send you read your message out um, it will confirm your message and ask you if you wish to send it um, it's very very simple so that's the mode button on the phone button we'll put your your phone in obviously um, but that's that's again it's pretty simple but once you've got your phone connected with do, your data lead and using this button you don't really need to touch the phone at all um, and then going back to the radio setting you do have a different way of going through all the radio stations there if you want um, as opposed to using that button there